This year's award winner has spent a lifetime using his love of the sea to drive his life's work. From a water nipper in Batwood to a leader in global marine technology, his career has spanned decades and inspired many. For his work on the sea and in his community, we are pleased to honor Fraser Edison with this year's Lifetime Achievement Award. My first job lied about my age, convinced the union reps at the time back in the seaport of Botwood that uh, I could do some work and uh, help out. And so uh, I uh, worked on the uh, ships as a water nipper in the summertime. They would put me on the dairy and the pallet, roll, lower me down, and I would walk from hole to hole on the ship with water to uh, support the guys that were sweating there to get the um, the freight loaded. When I was about 14 years old, I remember uh, my father saying to me that, look, you know, the captain who we all knew of the same ship coming back and forth for a number of years, he said, why don't, uh, why don't you put Fraser on the ship and travel with me up the, the St. Lawrence River to uh, get a load of freight and come back just to, for the experience. I loved every minute of it and I spent most of my time on the bridge trying to understand how the, everything worked. And so that was sort of hooked me that Water is something uh, that was in my blood. I really wanted to be part of it. I rather uh, started, I guess, with the with the VDR. I guess who, uh, VDR came into the Genesis Center, the Voyage Data Recorder. Fraser's had the vision to see what value that that product could have in the marketplace, and how it could help uh, improve the uh, safety and security of the marine industry. And so he took that product as it was and uh, invested some money in developing it and uh, he started uh, selling it internationally and that's one of the, the biggest successes, I guess, from a rudder's perspective of how we got started. When I saw the Lifetime Achievement Award for the marine industries, Fraser Edison was the first person that jumped uh, into my mind. He has had a very long and successful career in the marine industry. I think in some regards he's helped to build and shape the marine industry that we have in Newfoundland and Labrador today. Fraser has been involved in the, you know, many, many different initiatives, including the Business Investment Council of the province, uh, the Research and Development Corporation, the Genesis Center Selection Committee. Uh, and so Fraser having so many touch points across the province uh, has really led to a strong marine industry and, uh, and not to mention the fact of you know, his own companies, Compro Group and, and Rudder and others uh, that have really helped to shape and build the, the industry that we have today. I've known Fraser for a number of years. We we sat together as uh, corporate directors on uh, OceanX when it was a uh, publicly traded company. And I was also on the capital campaign to build the Easter Seals House with Fraser. He remembered as a child of going to the uh, Sunshine Camp. He um, really wanted to see a state-of-the-art facility built uh, that would be uh, really important for the uh, uh, participants of the programs. I think Fraser has been uh, an excellent advocate for what Newfoundlanders and Labradorians should be. If we're successful, then you know we should be supporting others and giving back. Fraser and I, we go back some years already, but we intensified our business relationship around 2007 when I came to know him as a very trustworthy and conscientious business partner with a high level of integrity. Over the years, I think I may say I've come to know a very great optimistic, honest, and warm-hearted friend. Fraser's just committed to, to the province and to the people, and uh, I think that's what, draw, what drives him. This province uh, have got one heck of a lot of uh, young companies that are startup companies, focus on the offshore. What we need to do is we have to continue to encourage and at the university expand their programs to ensure that the future people will have that opportunity to, uh, to uh, get to university, do the science courses, do the, uh, the types of things that we need to, to uh, grow that industry. Fraser would always say, why can't Newfoundland be the best in the world? And uh, if you look at his pride uh, in this province, uh, you can see it in his, uh, in his work and how he, how he drives his team. And uh, he wants to be the best in the world and he wants it to be a Newfoundland company. Fraser keeps saying that he would uh, like to retire and he would like to settle down, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, he's been so driven, uh, you know, to achieve and do so many things uh, that I don't see any signs of him slowing down. I just love it. I mean, I'm, I, I enjoy where I, where I am. I, the business that we have today, it's important that you got the right people 
in the, in the, in the uh, position and said, I've got a wonderful team here. I think it's important for everybody to, to remember that, you know, you're only one person and we all got our weaknesses and our strengths and the, the idea is to build that, to build all those strengths uh, of, of your weaknesses into uh, making sure you got the people that can look after those things. You know, people is everything.